here somewhere. Show yourself. Come on now, we'll make this fast. Promise. Go see if he's still in the phone rattler. No! Holy fuck, that shit was <laughs> Where the fuck did he go? Look someplace else. <laughs> Fucking animal killed our boy. Any y'all seen him? See if he's there. Huh? Hey! There's a body over here! Oh, another down! Gotta change bags! We got a body here. Huh? We can work something out. All you gotta do is die. We will find you, cocksucker. Believe that. Houdini or something? On the bright side, I get to clean my shorts now. You're here somewhere, I know it. Oh, Daddy's wild ride is the wildest ride in the country. Hop on in and go for a spin. And when you're back on solid ground, then on over to Dr. Yaya's Confections for an ice cold hug of us. for the splashback!
Well, I just happen to have one. So why don't you sit for a spell and have a listen to my tale about that devil beast known as the Rougarou. It all began in a small Negro village nestled deep in the bayou, far outside our civilized city. It was a place where slaves ran to hide from the world and hoped to call home. But something else called this place home, too. Something evil. And it was watching. Waiting. Now say what you will about the life of a slave, but those days brought the Negro more closer to God. Saved many a soul from the lake of fire. And it did. But soon they started backsliding, returning to the ways of their African ancestors. And an elder named Papa Virgil led them back to that old heathen practice known as Voodoo. And good old Papa Virgil, well, he took on a new name. Baron Saturday. Got evil in the darkness. Oh, 
your ass! Run this through, boy. You think you can come in here and steal my heroin without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with it! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please, please. Listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him.
Seth's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money.
Ah, uh, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Sandra failed to mention your charming personality. I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan. A priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana halfway. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives. Got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. So Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my chance to come here. Leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Cleaning this place up right, thanks to...
come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought he'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get point for them back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. Haven't the people down here heard about a little invention called air conditioning? Christ!
going in there how you think beat him greco just let us kill a poor son of a bitch get it over with nah greco wants to show how tough he is beat on old Vito until we all respect him he, was right. he ain't here keep looking Somebody. Camp it off to. Drag that motherfucker down. Okay then. Where do you want to look? God damn it, it's fucking gone! Let's look this way. Woo, this boy's dead. Did we lose him? You want to check over there? What? Got a body here. Got a body here.
Got a killer in here! Top. Anybody see where he went? Shit. Check the other side. can stay here, huh? Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. Bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. Skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if you fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, you pretty much whittled me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Well, so we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want it. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union, and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right.
Hey, Lincoln. I'm, uh, still trying to get this place back in order. And now is who's going to pick up the baton and carry on the fight that Dr. King and Brother Malcolm started. I'm not suggesting Vito it's says you're reliable. Knows I'm going to do everything I can to honor Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. Tango White Man? How the world get turned around like this? This is my whole life. Right on the wall. You ain't above it. You don't cough up your dues in the next two days. We'll come collect them personally, and you don't want them.
boss. You got anything for me today? Hey, where are the cards? Don't be staring at I can't understand is what kind of idiot makes his last stand at an old fun park. Come on. It's been the same story for the last something for me today. The same story for the last stand. My goodness. Are they breathing? Let's get the work. What? Cocksucker Greco. Fucking making a working man wait. Better have something for me today. This boy's in heaven now. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Cocksucker Greco. Fucking making a working man Come wait. On. It's been the same story for the last damn week. Yep. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. It's been the same story for the last damn week. Fucking making a working man wait. Come on. It's been the same story for the last damn week. Fucking swamp cracker fucked it up for all of us. All of us? Well, you're the one trying to get at that hollow pussy. Damn. Have your girl come see you. The way Donna tells it, they find out you're fucking black only. The Haitian boys will come for you. Well, there you go. Stop trying to fuck black girls. Only a matter of time before your wife finds out. You remember...
Something for me today. Moina turned the TV off as soon as the captain put his mouth on Uhura. No, oh, the fucking kids don't care. Your boy's what? Six, so they seven, hung some red eight. Neck in the hollow. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> well, how about but that? But you know, Marty. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 